Game one of the Lloyds TSB Autumn Series. Wales at home against the Springboks. John Smith, hooker and captain of the Springboks, has laid down what he says is the tone of the tour. Captain. They are after the Grand Slam. But this is the Millennium Stadium. Wales are at home. They start as underdogs, but they too want to get this new age of Mike Ruddock at home off to a winning start. Right the line out. Ball into touch. Dwayne Peel, nine. Can't stop the quick start by Brayton Pulsa. Let it go, let it go, take it off. Johan, Johan Smith, number seven. Jakob van der Westhuizen, one of two players in the Springbok side who do not play in South Africa. Shane Williams, the danger runner for Wales in broken play. Let it go. Wales commit forwards Run to the ruck. Hands out. Hands Run in the ruck, first penalty against Wales and that may well be a microcosm of Wales difficulties today ball taken in small physique not able to get the ball down quickly enough it got tied up and then a helping hand had to come in and uh, unfortunately a penalty all of Wales making support is there but he's not round far enough early enough as a consequence someone has to try and dig it out do you think, Brian, that Wales will have to commit uh, forwards who are giving away half a stone a man? They might have to commit more to the ruck situation. Well, unfortunately, they've got to win the ball, and the difficulty is if it's not placed properly, you do have to have more people to come in and free it up. Percy Montgomery yep. of the Dragons, just down the road in Newport, gets the scoring underway. The Springboks take the lead here against Wales. Three points to nil. That's not a good sign either, because Percy Montgomery is a sort of kicker who can be on fire, but can have dreadful days as well, can't he? And that was right down the middle. Very still conditions here in the Millennium Stadium. The roof is open, and Stephen Jones, just uh, two minutes after he set the game in motion, restarts from halfway. Yuan Smith. Fudi Dupriya takes the kicking responsibility on himself. Ryan Jones just watches the ball go into touch. Fudi Dupree, a nephew of Frick Dupree, who wasn't a bad player in the second row. Steve Jones there today. Very, very important job for him. Absolutely crucial that he hits the jumpers today because Wales will need that first phase ball. Little Steve Jones, only 15 stone, and there's Ryan Jones, somewhat larger, at number eight. Bad start for Wales at the line-out. They scrambled it back, but it went forward. So, trouble for Wales at the line-out. Well, that looked to me as though the communication difficulty, because the jumpers didn't go up. The ball sort of dropped in no-man's land, I think. Uh, well, that's not a good either. Comfortable scrum, good defensive work. Dwayne Peel. On Smith. This time the Springboks have to put the forwards in, forcing Dupree to kick. Gareth Thomas, his first touch. They'll go all the way back to the Welsh 22. Thomas was just outside it. Well, he was just outside, but I'm pretty sure there that the referee, Perry O'Brien, was very. You watch this, I think he holds onto this ball far longer than he's entitled to. He's got to let go of it there, now, now. He's on his knees, he's still holding it. Lucky. Good line-out ball from Victor Matfield. Top second row forward Matfield, and there's the charge of Os Durant. The giant prop, 19 stone 10. Breakdown in midfield, good defence by Wales, forcing the error. It was good defence because uh, Salouk had three phases there that were won cleanly and quickly. Intent right from the beginning to take the game straight. Try and draw men in. Simple handling error there, though. So, Peel to feel the Welsh scrum, which is giving away a lot of weight. Good scrum by Wales. Stephen Jones. Excellent clearance. Montgomery might be tempted to take it quickly. He's not. So, after one set piece hiccup at the line out, that's a good scrum by Wales. Stephen Jones, who now earns a crust in Montferrand, Clément Ferrand, for the Montferrand club in France. 
That was encouraging, actually. The uh, Jones boys in the front row, they are giving away a lot of weight, but that was very solid. South Africa went for the wheel, only achieved what? A couple of degrees and a very solid pace. John Smith, Victor Matfield wearing the green scrum cap. Bakis Boerta is the other second row, but it's again Matfield who's the target. Front ball, South Africa drive on. Furi Dupri puts up the high kick, testing, testing Hal Luscombe. Luscombe does well. The winger, raised in South Africa, now playing for Wales, winning his fifth cap. Could be turnover ball for the Springboks. Again, if Wales win it, it'll be scraped back. Wales. Wales get the put in because Luscombe was held immediately after the catch. And he did well there, didn't he? He was under pressure. This is a drive from the lineup. I couldn't understand the Welsh tactic of not competing in the lineup at all there because you're automatically giving away a ball to a huge set of forwards who then have got five or six metres to rumble. Crouch and hold only. Stand up, stand up. Go back half a pace. 3.2 kilograms per man. Half a stone. And Os Durant the heaviest, Stephen Jones the lightest, and that's where it hurts. So, that's not a good one. They need to get much lower on the tight head side. He's got to get the body in, his right shoulder down. Unfortunately for him, O'Brien is around that side, so he won't be able to cheat as much. But, uh... South Africa. Well, Smith heads across field. And that's why he's ending up two yards backwards. But they've got the ball. Oh, it's clean through. Marius Hubert for the line. Luscombe can't, Luscombe does it well in fact, to stop the progress at the Springbok centre. Real trouble for Wales though, Dupria. And it had to come after that break by Hubert. It's Jaco van der Westezen who opens up the scoring with a try to add to Montgomery's earlier penalty. I need you to look at the grounding please. Well, the referee's looking for the grounding, I don't you. think there's anything wrong really. Thank you. But he's going to have a, a look with the fourth official. Yeah. It's been a horrible seven minutes for Wales, but a wonderful seven minutes for the visitors. The problem you've got there is that although Van Niekerk ran across the field, he actually drew in two backs. As soon as the ball came back, Wales were outnumbered. The backs have got to make a decision to the drift or not. They decided to do so. And as soon as anyone steps back inside, like Joubert did there, they're all wrong-footed. Paddy O'Brien just waiting for the advice of uh, Eric Darrière of France, who's the television match official. Gareth Thomas can only stand and watch Ryan Jones with the red head cap. I don't well, know why he's waiting for this. It was well, obvious. I'm not sure whether his arm wasn't under the ball there, whether there was actually sure. contact between ball and ground. Thank I can you, see, I can yeah. see the doubt. <laughs> Try has been awarded. Percy Montgomery lines up his second kick, this conversion after his penalty. Low, hard and accurate. Two and a two for Montgomery. Ten points to nil. South Africa lead. Worrying times for Wales. They are because Eddie, if you go right back to the real cause of that, it was a poor scrum by Wales. Got the ball turned over. Allowed Van Niekerk to, uh, to run with the ball, and they really must solidify this first phase, otherwise they're going to get mullered. Joe Van Niekerk. Get out, Tesla, get out! A ruck on the 22, Dupria to the left foot of Montgomery, stay, stay. and that's very smooth and very efficient, taking play back into the Welsh half. South Africa. Oh, no Welsh line-out part two here, the first one. A 
appeared to be well Paul utterly Paul. bereft of communication. So let's see whether we get it right this time. Steve Jones. Stay. Double checks. David Jones is the target. David Jones does well. Stephen Jones. Gavin Henson on the loop. Gareth Thomas in from fullback. Ashwin Willem sir with the tackle. There we go. Stay green. Get out of there, Reed. Get out of there. Sets up the ruck. Stephen Jones looks for space behind Willem sir. Excellent kick by Stephen Jones. That really was a rocky, wasn't it? Fantastically well placed. Step back in the pocket. Poor sir, we badly missed Jones. He's to move forward to start with that one. Wales. And Wales initially moved that ball wide. They've got to. The South African defence really flies up. You see the centres. I wouldn't mind seeing them just digging the ball in behind him and giving him a little bit of doubt. Now, will we compete here? Didn't bother at the, the first South African line out. They can't afford to do that here. John Smith takes his time drawing the ball. Thank you. Paddy O'Brien wants a gap. Wales will want to compress it and just disrupt as much as they can. They do go up. Ryan Jones went up. Victor Matfield Stay rich, tidies mate. up for South Africa, though. And Dupria clears. Will Luscombe take it quickly to Thomas? No. Got Smith up there quickly. That's a better effort from the Wales in terms of competition. Oh, At least they managed to disrupt the tap and if it hadn't been for well very good hands from Victor Matfield it would have been a bobbling ball in a dangerous position Stephen Jones of the Dragons one line out success to his name Colin Chavez sorts out the bobbling ball so Wales do win their own line out after some hesitation now then Luscombe into midfield Good drive by Wales. Gareth Thomas plays scrum half, only feeds Dwayne Peel. The orthodox scrum half. Now then, Wales take on South Africa up front. Os Durant has stolen the ball. Turn over time, but Wales drive forward. South Africa should have control of it. It's pinched back by Wales. Stephen Jones. Wales have an advantage. Peel well. to Duncan Jones. There is no advantage. South Africa offside. Wales with a chance to put points on the board. Well, good work there by the Welsh forwards because although they were although yeah. they were robbed by Os Durant, when it came back to Brayton Pulser, they managed to rip it off him and set that passage of play in motion, which was only defeated by well, was it Sir Nicola or the South African offside anyway? And a very kickable, very kickable penalty. Os Durant, Thanks, guys. who gave up rugby, retired, went north, put on a bit of weight, was recalled and has taken a bit of it off, but he is the heaviest man on the field by, well, by some margin. 19 stone, 10 of him, Stephen Jones puts Wales on the scoreboard. Three points to ten. Mike Ruddock makes notes and he will have noted his own sense of relief that Wales can win some ball and they can make progress. Jaco van der Westhuizen plays for NEC in Japan. Shane Williams takes on Brayton Pulser. Pulser offside. So. Field, takes it quickly, Matfield, was he 10 metres? Colin Chavez. Hands off, baby. Wales want to play an open, fluid game until Stephen Jones does that right down the middle. Van der Vestes, under pressure. Gareth Thomas there. Ryan Jones also in support. Paddy O'Brien allows the Springboks time to play that. Ashwin Willemser tackled by Chavez and by Thomas too. Well, Hello. Highly experienced Welsh players, both now out of position. Good defence by Wales, and a good turnover too. Oh, hands in. Well, I thought Paddy O'Brien was very, very lenient on the first occasion after the high ball was fielded. 
The man's on the floor and he's tackled. He's supposed to release the ball immediately. And he's given them a lot of leeway. It's a simple reality in the Southern Hemisphere in the Super 12 that there isn't much challenge for the ball on the floor. But at test level anywhere, there's a right old scramble for it. Well, well I can't see where the hand was particularly there. Wild! But I thought it was a one Thank before you. where it was even more lenient, so... Michael Owen, normally number eight, goes up against Matfield. Matfield wins on his own ball. Good tackle, Gavin Henson. Get out of it! And good turnover. Oh, he's done them again. Paddy O'Brien having none of it on the floor. Could be Colin Chavis who's being singled out. Yeah, okay, you can't lie in there. It's preventing him playing the ball back, okay? Then your player plays it. He's got to roll. Yeah. Tackle must yeah, roll away. Well, that's fine, uh, Mr. O'Brien. Yeah, okay, You're right, he must roll. roll away. But also, the man who's got the ball must release it straight away as well. So let's have them both, shall we? Here's the tackle, Gavin Henson. They thought they might have a there, charge. He's got a place and let go. He's still got hold of that ball. Jarvis isn't off his feet to start with. Oh, I think that's harsh. That's very harsh. And I'm glad to say, for the first time in a long time, thousands of Welsh people, I think, agree with me, certainly in the stadium. Yeah, it's that split second when you're on your feet, you can play the ball before the ruck forms, and that looked pretty legitimate from Colin Jarvis. Instead, here's Percy Montgomery with his third kick at goal. Third success. <laughs> South Africa's lead grows. 13 points to three. One of the difficulties for a forward, obviously, is when you're there, and you're on your feet, you want to play the ball. Now, as soon as the rook forms, you're not allowed to do that, even if the rook, you know, even if you are on your feet. But what referees are usually doing is shouting rook formed, and then you know, uh, in the absence of that, you, obviously, you can't see everyone who's around you, and you don't know, and that's not helpful for a forward. Matfield catches Scott Berger drives Montgomery play on says the referee trouble for South Africa Jarvis goes down excellent pressure Wales in the Springbok 22 Wales have an advantage a penalty as well. only a knock on oh, had his hand out there I thought it was a penalty but uh... he didn't give the first knock on by Percy Montgomery here we go, Percy. Well, his, his eyes are completely oh, no, off the up. ball there. And that Let is an clear. odd thing to do, just whack oh. the ball into midfield. Oh. Crucial that Wales get something out of this, it's a good scrum. Jones to Peel, Gavin Henson, good strength. By the Ospreys, back. Gareth Thomas has to go down. Support from David Jones, good drive by the Welsh forwards. Peel. To Jones, Michael Owen, the offload to Henson. Now Wales have to scoop. Owen with a good pickup. Cobain, Sonny Parker, Shane Williams. No, Matfield. No, as one of the first defenders over there. South Africa no, have got no. back in the defensive line. Wales though still have possession. Drop goal. Stephen Jones misses. Penalty though. Green, two outside. Wales. South Africa offside. Offside. Unfortunately for Wales, a quick ball that they needed from the right-hand corner. It didn't quite come, and it gave the South Africans time to get back, including the whole back row were covering, and the ball came across. Shane Williams. You made the point, Brian, that, it's, that Wales must leave this situation with something. Well, it looks as though they'll, they'll get the penalty, and it is so important, isn't it, that once you've had that mistake, once you've worked yourself into a good position, just to see something on the scoreboard. Yes, you've got to basketball style out here but in the end the way the ball was lobbed it meant that the South African back row were across right. there well it's three three will do 13 points to six the Springboks lead 17 minutes played it does show that when Wales can put some pressure some form of pressure they are capable are putting points on the board but it needs to be more consistently done and the basis of all that is their first phase possession 
Van der Westhuizen into the 22. Ryan Jones. Get up, Green, leave it, leave it. Charge go back, go by back. the 23-year-old number eight, Dwayne Peel. Thought he spotted a gap. It closed pretty quickly on the Day little scarlet. One, come back, one red. Come back. And this is where Wales are struggling come for out, quick red. ball. They want a fluid game. They want come quick out. ball. Shane Williams, who has played scrum half in his time, does so here. A kick to Van der Vestes. Dupria points him forward. Come out, Williams two, two. will go back. Stay. Much ground gained by the Ospreys wing. Don't go blocking there again. No, I think he thought that was going to roll all the way. And then at the very last minute, it just bounced up. I thought at one point it might go over the dead ball line, but it put him in a very difficult position because his angles were completely closed down, especially as he's left footed. John Smith, the captain. Hold there. Just checks his call. Matfield comes Stay. forward. It goes over the top of his head. Scott Berger in midfield, Stephen Jones, the target. Yes, yes. Now they switch back, here's Smith. Cobain just about gets him down. Dupree, Montgomery, held by Shane Williams. Stay back, stay back. Under Vestazen, the long cutout pass. Misses everybody, Luscombe closes in with Sonny Parker on Willemsen. Penalty to Wales, sound defensive work. South Africa were in a good position. Now they want to go, yes. Takes it quickly, go, is the cry. Berger is back under real pressure. He goes to ground. Good pressure from Wales. Turnover ball, better still. Penalty to Wales. Well, that's good play by Wales. They need to do that. You could hear them screaming, go, go, go. And they were right. Now, what do they do? It's wide out. It's... A small target for Stephen Jones, so they go for the corner. I would go for the corner, yeah. He's going for goal. He just checked with his captain. And maybe when you're on a high that comes with a rush out of defence and a charge downfield, maybe you said the try is on, but yeah, perhaps it's the, the right decision. Now then, it is a narrow target, just 2.4 metres from... Well, from where I would he think stands. he'd bring that back though, won't he? he? must bring it. Oh, he's not bringing it. Well, he's brought it back a little bit. But well, this will be a very good kick. Uh, right across the face, Percy Montgomery. If he catches this, it'll hurt Wales, but he sliced it. So, Peel to Gavin Henson. Henson taken Move down on. by Matfield. Matfield very busy. Peel help from Chavez. Chavez. Good hand off. Good fend on Dupria. Sonny Parker. Bucky's Boto with a tackle. Board. David Get Jones. Side, now then Wales are making small amounts of ground, but it is ground going forward. Probably the forwards. No. Boto put back in. Matt Stephen Jones. Good skill by the outside half. Hands off. Held by Smith. Chavis to Peel. Nobody outside him. Here it goes. Stay back. Stay back. Stay back. Michael Owen for Wales. After Ryan Jones. Now then, Wales might be stretched here. Scott Berger. Jones got back with a tackle. Ryan Jones. Willemser. Montgomery. Chavis is fended off. Montgomery with men outside him. The Red Barry back to Montgomery. Number eight, Jovan Nicker is in support, and South Africa are over for their second try. Well, he was always on, I'm afraid. As soon as the ball was turned over, when the Wolves were on the charge, Mike Lloyd spilled the ball, and from that point onwards, they were always in difficulty. Van Nierkirk put a superb back row. He finished it. Scott Berger had a fantastic roll and run to start with. Here we go, the charge. 
Oh, he's absolutely poor contact skills, and the ball goes left here. They know there's something on. Berg is away. Oh, and there's poor missed tackles there. Well, oh, Gorridge as well here, but he's patient. Waits, runs the good angles, draws a man, doesn't drift. Under the post, and seven points. Percy Montgomery has added the two points. 20 points to six. This has all the makings of a very high-scoring game for the moment, and ominously so. 20 of them already in the bag for the Springboks. Stephen Jones goes long. Scott Berger tackled by... Cobain and David Jones. Jones D seemed to take a bit of a blow. South Africa worked their way again back into the Welsh 20 into the Welsh half. South Africa? No, 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 no. Take your team. Hold them all there. Jake White. The coach who's turned the fortunes of South Africa around. This time last year they were in all Blood sorts fellas. of you trouble. In camp barbed wire before a very no, no. unhappy World Cup campaign. campaign. Thank you. Jake White took over after they were dumped out. Well, they lost to England, then they lost in the quarter final to New Zealand. There was a huge yeah, fallout back right home. Over, Jake White came in move with them. and immediately on your ball. made them Tri Nations champions. Now, yeah. David Jones is coming off. He took a blow Thank you. from the restart. Looks like. A blood bin substitution. Martin Williams comes on. Just listen for the hands up. Blues flanker. South Africa. Yep. Hold South Africa win a Welsh line out. Barry, little slip pass. But the ball went forward there. A little bit. Perhaps Forward. too smart. A bit blase, but then again, he probably feels supremely confident. Okay, wait, here we are in Cardiff. What's it all mean to a New Zealander? Sean, Fitzpat Sean Fitzpatrick. Oh. Hey, Eddie, um, well, just, uh, I think Wales have to keep on continuing to playing the style of rugby they're playing and, and not be frightened. Get by what just happened with the, the turnover Chris ball. Because when South Africa looks yeah. vulnerable is when Wales are actually putting pressure on them. Stay so long may that continue. OK. An open, fluid game. Wales will want to play that. Oh, how that's going to clap it in midfield and crossing 15, in midfield. So out. that open game isn't functioning that smoothly at the moment for Wales. No line-out ball. And straight from the set-piece, this happens. Well, he's saying he's taking a man out, and yes, he did, but not the tackler, so what, what difference does it make? I'm saying nothing about Paddy O'Brien. No, no. I just remember not bad, Fiji France in the World yeah. Cup. Didn't have his best then. Yeah, well, the yeah, point I'm is, right. you know, Joubert was a potential tackler, who was ball, obstructed, it, but he wasn't the person who was going to hit the that? man with the ball. Oh, and the man with the ball did get hit, and therefore, if it was an obstruction, it was of little or no use at all. Percy Montgomery, <laughs> successful <laughs> with every kick. <laughs> Ten points to his name. Sorry, 13 points to his name. See the ball coming out here, here he comes, Joubert. Oh, that's a nonsense, that's an absolute nonsense. <laughs> Actually, the box might have been happy for it to go on anyway, because the ball was spilt and they were in the 22. Change of tactic from the restart by Stephen Jones. Up goes Gavin oh. Henson, did he knock on? Great okay. regathering of the ball by Dupria. Percy Montgomery, oh, juggled it again. Henson was up quickly on Montgomery. Turnover ball for Wales. Now then, they must get something. It was on on the blind side. Still might be for Dwayne Peel. 
offloads. Down, and red. They just can't scrape it back, but they will have the put in. Oh, Both very unfortunate there, Dwayne Peel was Come just on. a little bubble of ball when he wanted to go right quickly, quickly. But ball just comes up and bubbles a little okay, bit. And by oh, that please. time, 19 red. the defence is just Guys, there. Wait for my call. It's your ball, Here. Up. There, it just goes no, up in the air. Stay up, stand up. You need to be able to run with that immediately, and then there was a possibility of going over. David Jones is back on instead of Martin Williams. Don't want to hang around too much at that scrum. Here we go. The Welsh three quarter line. Henson infield to Luscombe. Untidy breakout, but there was a ruck form, so there was an offside line. Loitering. And Marius oh, Hubert was on the wrong side of it. You're loitering at the tackle. Okay, no, we're just hanging around there. Just wait, please. Or was that just open play? Hanging about. I'm not counting, but roughly. New offensive, but hanging about. In this zone. Okay, tell the boys in this zone. Be positive, please. Yeah. You know my next step. Yeah, yeah. Thank you. Well, uh, does that count as a warning? A general warning he's given? Who knows? Here's the breakdown in play. That's it. One... Tackle. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. There are, there are, there's a ruck there, isn't there? Players bridging over it. Yeah, I think you're technically right there. there. There's 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 I, re I reiterate my point I made earlier, though. If the referee isn't okay. shouting the ruck formed, it just doesn't help anybody because no one knows. And that's a very difficult area for players and referees, to be fair. Stephen Jones takes Wales up to nine points. Nine points to Jones, nine points for his country. But there's still a 14-point deficit. Hal Luscombe comes in. Two there are players there. Mind you, the ball went out yeah, very, it's very quickly. close. Very close. But I think it's right that the attacking team gets the benefit of the doubt in those situations, actually. 32 points in the opening half hour. Michael Owen takes it well. Brett Cobain went up as the dummy runner in front of him. Adam Jones sets up the ruck. Stephen Jones. Yeah, mate. Now then, that's good, solid work by Wales from a restart, which hasn't always been their speciality. Wales, Wales, here. Bring, bring your boys here. Bring your boys here. Bring them there. This is an area where South Africa have been rock solid so far, the line outs. And again, look at that. Matfield, the ball winner. Scott Berger in midfield, held by Gavin Henson. Hands Henson, on. very prominent in defence. Chavez tries to disrupt. Os Duran tackled by Sonny Parker and he's lost it. Turnover ball for Wales. Be interesting to see how many times they've, they've won turnover there ball. Dwayne Peel still looking for that little dart. Close to Ruck and Maul. Stay there, stay green, go back. Chavez plays scrum half. Jones, the little dink from Stephen Jones. Brent Cobain, the second row, is the only one there. Pulsar under real pressure now. Oh! Cobain went down on the man who'd gone to ground himself. Fair well, he's enough. right, you're not allowed to dive on a man until he's got back to his feet. I suppose the problem always comes when a man just refuses to get up. Uh, but here, Pulsar goes down. Yeah. He's got to leave him a little bit longer. So tempting, though, Can't for a player. I want to give him a good idea, and uh, you know he's under pressure. OK, there it is there. Still, the same. encouraging signs for Wales are that they can steal ball in loose play. They can't do much so far no, about this South African line-out. Wait till they get there. OK. John Smith, Matfield. Keep it up, Red, keep it up! It's a bit of an old combination. Seemed to be a bit of a it's gap fine. there between the ball carrier and the... Still on the ball. The tractor into which yeah, he he's drove. Okay. He's fine, let it go! Dupree with the little chip ahead. Shane Williams has it covered, makes we the mark. Leave him! Advantage! Matfield, offside. Jarvis, tackled by Smith. Dwayne Field, good offload. There's the mobility of hooker Steve Jones. South Africa give away the penalty. Too many hands on the floor. Scott Berger. Now, play advantage. Well, to Wales there, taking the advantage. They've got to, they've got to try and chance the hand with these. The points behind the first phase ball isn't secure. Good adventurous play here. And actually, he's played on the floor quite cynically, I think, here. 
and uh, the referee said no more but what that means I don't know does it mean the next one will be a yellow card or oh it's cool it's a second no more well, until he says no more again he's going for goal here yeah. Gavin Henson well I tell you what this isn't really a surprise he has a prodigious boot on him he'll have to have yes what's that six 58 Ooh, 58 and a half I think some neat bit of design work will now tell us. Here we go. To the nearest centimetre, 57.3. Well, we overestimated it, but only just. It will still be a hell of a shot. Gavin Henson of the Ospreys hasn't got the legs. Victor Matfield takes, takes it up to the 22. Now, this is the speed of the second row. Back row support from Smith. Knock on by Van der Vestesen, who in his frustration, sorry, it was uh, Marius Joubert who dropped it, who just turned on the first player in his face, but that again, that's good pressure. Here's Joubert's mistake. Now, now hold, Red, hold! Another reasonable platform for Wales, it needs to be solid. Again, come away with some sort of score. OK, you two, just for a minute, I need you square. Don't go in, you keep them out. Crouch and hold. Eddie Get Andrews it. and Duncan Jones. Stay here. That's square enough for Wales. Stephen Jones, Henson, Gareth Thomas from fullback spins out of the tackle. Michael Owen. Get off, tackle! This time he hangs on to the ball and sets it up for Peel. Peel this time does make a little dart. Colin Jarvis on his shoulder. Hands off! Peel digs it out. It came off a South African behind the Welsh, but Shane Williams regathers Luscombe in trouble. And then here's the pace of Van Niekerk against Stephen Jones. Van Niekerk, they'll want to get him into touch. They do so. Well, good defence in the end, Nick Struis. But unfortunately for Wales, and the ball is coming back on the... It's not just that, that prior to that... There are a series of passes which were effectively stopping on. passes behind people. As a consequence, all the flow was Hold it. disrupted and actually he did well to pull Brian Porter away, down guys. there. He, did. It he would have been free, wouldn't he? It wasn't a golden moment for Hal Luscombe. And uh, Stephen Jones won't, won't want too many foot races against um, Joe Van Nickerk either. What? A bit better at the tackle now. Brief pause. Yeah. yeah. It is Hal Luscombe was injured. There's Marius Hubert. The two tries so far. Jaco van der Westhuizen with the first. Here's the turnover ball for the second. Michael Owen takes it in, loses it, and uh, this is the finish. Percy Montgomery looping to Vet Barry, and the finish by Joe van Nicker. 23 points to nine. Michael Owen, one hand. Brent Cobain, one hand. Come back. Stephen Jones, Come the hooker. Down. Makes it possible for Peel to clear. Pulsar. That's fine, just push only, though. Well, they cleared it eventually after a short line-up. It was bobbled, wasn't it? It was all over the place. Okay, Wales, please. It's not the sort of clear-cut, concise <laughs> possession which they need. There's a stark no, contrast no, when you come to the South Africans who've been put on the very efficient put in this area. The There's a strange order Wales from Paddy O'Brien. Line up on him, next time to free kick. Yeah, and go. those possession statistics are quite strange. It does show the South Africans have been much more efficient in what they've gotten used. Matfield again. Wonderful first half by Victor Matfield. Not bad from Joe Van Nicker, but he's lost the ball. South Africans have spilt lots of ball. Off. Wales have stolen lots of ball. And here they come. Brian forward. Jones lost it forward. So lost it forward. They, Wales Grand do so many good things, but then have not much continuity in their play after that. Yes, in fact, uh, if I were a South African, I'd be very upset about the amount of turnovers that they've conceded. Crouch and hold only. Wales, unfortunately for them, have not been able to make that no, much no, no, no. out of them. Gage. No. South Africa lying quite flat. 
Stay up this way. Hold. On the near side of this scrum. Gage. There they are. Duet Barry outside. Oh. Jaco van der Westhuizen. Percy Montgomery is at fullback is also flat okay, in the line. Stay up, stay up both front rows. Square, steady. Crouch and hold. Game. Thank you. Stay on. The drive by Van Nickirk takes on Gavin Henson. Hands off, Red. They're still flat outside Van der Westhuizen. There goes the kick. Territory first. You know, I'm not convinced that Van Nierkirk isn't doing please. that lateral run on purpose, you know, because they would normally attack the fly-off there. He's taking the 10 and Eric, the 12 straight out, and if he's confident enough, yeah, sorry, yeah, his sorry. back row will yeah, yeah, get with him, fault. and he'll get the ball back. Not only is he taking one Eric, out, he's taking time, two and drawing the third one into an impossible position. I'd be, I'd be interested to know whether he's doing that on purpose. Hands off, Greg! Yeah, well, he, he's certainly quick enough, Joe Van Nickirk. Now, this is ridiculous now. I mean, ball, every time on. a ruck is formed, the ball is being played on the floor. And uh, Thank you. Paddy O'Brien, the referee, keeps on saying no one. more and keeps on penalising without showing the card. Which is why he, I was saying, what does that mean? Because you know from the past, uh, it doesn't necessarily mean what it says. Not much to go in the minute, first half. Wales will want to launch one more attack. Yeah. The moment you feel contact. Do you think, though, Brian, every time Wales throw <laughs> in, you sort of... Your heart's in your mouth a bit, and every Absolutely. time they fill the mat field, it's dead safe. There it goes again, it's a bobble, but Colin Chavez straight to Stephen Jones. Good turn out of the tackle by Jones, Stephen. Michael Owen. Get out, come out, Green. Adam Jones bridges him. David Jones. One of the six Joneses. Got them all. John Smith came in. Good strength, though. By... Sonny Parker in the centre, Henson rides the tackle. Hold it, come in. Referee has blown for another infringement go on, go on. and he's going to penalise somebody on the Welsh team, is he? Too many times with the tackle. No, Scottberger at last. There we are. I wouldn't have any for too many. Scott Berger, Player of the Year in South Africa. Roll away. Not so popular here. Playing the ball on the floor once too often, he's off for ten minutes. Well, it is his third one. So interesting, almost on the stroke of half time. Here we go. That's a that's a that's a rook there, two men over him. He can't play that even if he's on his feet, he's Which not he's on not. his feet. No. Yeah, no. I, this is that Just thinking, thing. Brian, as well, you know, you go in at half-time, 12-23 down. At, at one stage, it was looking as if it was going to be a lot worse than that for Wales. Well, South Africa scored three points in the last 20 minutes. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. This is a very important kick. And very well spotted by Stephen Jones. Over the ball goes. The whistle goes for half-time. At the Millennium Stadium, it's Wales against the Springboks. It's 12 to Wales, 23 to South Africa. At the end. It's been tough for Wales. We knew it would be Wales struggling from the start. They already trailed through Percy Montgomery's penalty when Van der Vestesen went over for the first try of the match. And Wales will be trailing 10-0, seven minutes gone. They got points on the ball through Stephen Jones. But when it looked as if they were going to ask some serious questions, South Africa made another serious point. The power of Percy Montgomery, the support of Joe Van Nierkirk, try it number two. The Wales have limited the damage, trailing 23-12 at half-time. Thoughts of Jonathan and Jerry coming up, but first of all, let's go to Sean and Jill for the touchline viewpoint. struggling, uh, I think, to get to their position on the touchline. Let's get the initial thoughts of um, Jonathan first of all. For a while, we thought it was going to be tougher from the Welsh point of view, but 23-12 uh, down. Uh, they were still within range and at times playing well. Yeah, I think uh, turnovers, um, you know, they, they switch off uh, on scramble defence. They have been organising defence, poor communication. 
and that's been the difference. You know, the, the, the Rooks Awards have been a disaster for both sides. I think Paddy O'Brien has refereed it poorly. Oh. Um, you know, this problem in southern and northern hemispheres. Up in the northern hemisphere, we like to, you know, compete in the tackle area. In the southern hemisphere, they don't, and that's the problem we have when they play each other. Um, but I think that they'll be quite happy because Wales haven't played well. They yeah. spilled ball and haven't scrambled in defence well. Um, so we're still in there. That's the main thing. If we're still in the game. Get your thoughts in a moment, Jerry. Let's go straight down for that touchline point of view from Sean Fitzpatrick and Jill Douglas. Well, Sean, South Africa will start the second half with just 14 men. And if there was one man in that South Africa side that you'd like to see off the field if you were a Welshman, it would be the ubiquitous Scalp Burger, I suppose. Well, oh, definitely. He's a workaholic, isn't he? Especially on the sideline here, you see how much work he does do. I'm sure Jake White would be a bit disappointed, obviously, about that. But I think on the overall performance, he'd be disappointed at the amount of turnovers um, when they've had total control of the line out and scrum. What does it say about Wales and their confidence, the fact that when they did have a penalty and could have taken a bit of territory, they opted to take a kick from 80, 50, 60, 70, 80 yards out or whatever it was? They've actually got to believe they can win. They can take the game to South Africa, especially in the second half, and put points on the board, try and score a try. Because we've seen in the first half, when they put South Africa under pressure and South Africa can't play their controlled game, they, they, there's, there's holes there that, that Wales can cannot create opportunities under. Well, Mike Ruddick, we satisfied with that half-time scoreline? Well, I think so. It was looking for a while there. It could get a bit carried away, but they came back well and put them under pressure. And Skultberg is a classic example that they're putting a lot of pressure on at the breakdown. They're certainly not invincible, South Africa. No, well, they've shown that. I think, uh, I think as I said, Jake White will be disappointed that their form from the Tri-Nations hasn't continued. The breakdown is, a, is an issue, as we've heard. The no! Southern Hemisphere, yeah, the breakdown's not great. Thanks very much, Sean. Yes, Jerry, your impressions. South Africa have made mistakes. They've made some quite fundamental mistakes at times. They have. I think if they're hard on themselves, and I'm sure Jack White will be saying, look, you're turning the ball over too much, sort it out. I'm sure that the class of this side, they will, they will put that right. But I think from a wider perspective, we're looking at a team that isn't fantastic in the way that they move the ball down the line. They're very basic. Mm. They're big up front, so they play strong in the line-out and the scrum. They're giving well some problems in the scrum and the line-out. The ball goes to uh, Jakob van der Vestes and it's, he's kicking more than he's passing. And the two tries we scored have been from Wales' mistakes and bad tackles. So nothing flashed from South Africa. Wales knew it was going to be a tough first 20 minutes. It was a tough first five minutes, wasn't it? Yeah, not the start they wanted. And um, I think um, Joe van Niekerk at number eight, uh, I think Brian Moore said what he does, he runs across the field. Because he's so quick, he sucks defenders in. He tries to suck 10 and 12 in. And that's what happened, you know, it's, uh, in, in the tries, he just committed players and they couldn't get defence organised to, to fill the holes. So, um, you know, it's, but what Wales have got to do in the second half is they, they fan across the field. Very rarely do they commit more than two players to the ruck. So if, we, if, you know, if the coaching staff has done its job, they look at that and say, right, they spread across the field, they've got everyone, like the props, the hookers, across field. There's no one in the rucks and mores. What the Welsh forces have got to do, pick up, drive through the guts of the South African defence, then suck defence, then, then recycle ball, yeah. and then we'll see how organised this defence is then. OK, we'll analyse the tries and the referee in a few minutes' <laughs> yeah. time after all the football news from Ray Stubbs. As we welcome BBC One viewers to the Score Interactive studio, we're going to recap on the situation in the five Premiership games that are underway. The Stamford Bridge, where second place Chelsea are playing third place Everton. Dominic Cotton has the story of the game so far. Yes, Ray, Everton produced the first opening of the game. Kevin Kilbang crossing for Tim Cahill. And the Australian really should have scored with his head. At the other end, Ian Robin then blasted one from long range. The Dutchman only denied a first Premiership goal by Nigel Martin's fingers. With a little more than ten minutes to go to half-time, no goals as yet. Uh, Tottenham against Charlton now. Uh, Damien Johnson. Yes, uh, Charlton lead by a goal to nil here. Uh, it was a, a neat finish from Sean Bartlett, but all the work came from the left-wing cross from Jerome Thomas. He's looked lively on the left-hand side, uh, making a series of runs down the left, and his cross led to Bartlett's goal. Uh, Tottenham started positively, playing with three strikers. Canute's uh, shot was blocked. That's the best effort of the half so far for them. The gloom deepens at White Hart Lane. Uh, Liverpool against Birmingham, Ivan Gaskell. 
Well, Liverpool's Luis Garcia has just lashed the ball high over the bar. He should have scored. But Birmingham goalkeeper Mike Taylor earning his not insubstantial large wage packet so far. Three excellent saves from Kuehl, Alonso and Garcia have kept Liverpool out. Though the best chance of all fell early to Emil Heskey. He fired wide from close range on his return to Anfield. Very quickly, Southampton against West Bromwich Albion, Andy Barwell. Well, some poor defending led to both goals. A good effort from Anders Svensson for Southampton, equalised a minute later by Rob Earnshaw. His first goal for his new club evaded both defender and goalkeeper. More goals almost guaranteed here. And Norwich against Blackburn is nil-nil. Uh, just to say that Daphne Cuckoo, Lee Dixon, Garth Crooks and Gary Pallister in the scoring director's studio. If you press the red button, you can stay with us for the rest of the afternoon. And then we're back now to Steve Ryde and his guests at the rugby. And back here in Cardiff, South Africa leading Wales by 23 points to 12 as we head into the second half. Let's take a look at the two South African tries from this first half. And really, Wales in the opening five minutes caught rather cold. Problems up front, wasn't it? Yeah, there he is. You know, he knows what he's doing. Van Nieke runs straight to Stephen Jones, commits him, you know, to the Rex uh, ruck. Quick ball. The Wales defence hasn't reorganised. Jubek came straight down the hole that Stephen Jones should have been or someone should have filled for them. And once they're behind, he should really have uh, scored, I feel, great tackle by Haluska. But again, Burgers there, look, and they recycle, they don't organise on the left-hand side, and Jack van der Vesters and scores. Well, that was just the start that the Welsh didn't need. It was the start to the Grand Slam challenge that South Africa had dreamt of, really, and the second try wasn't too far behind. Fifteen minutes later, Wales impossibly stretched. Well, this is South Africa at the razor-sharp razor uh, best, and this man, Berger, has been all over the place. He's, I mean, he's off having a little ten-minute break at the moment, but I don't think Wales can be too happy with the missed tackles, because they got numbers there, but the, the South Africans showing their strength are just shrugging off, and then it's just a question of committing defenders and making a pass. Good switch there, that made the try, and away he goes. And this guy is one hell of an athlete. Mm. For a number eight, he's awesome. Yeah, you know, this is the spill look. And they had plenty of numbers in defence, they just fell off tackles. And I think Clive Griffiths won't be happy with the way they've um, you know, committed themselves to the tackle, because they've just fallen off a couple, and once they've got behind the worst defence, the support play has been uh, superb. OK, all this is an, in anticipation of what's to come in the Six Nations Championship, of course. And we've got a competition which could give you uh, a dream season ticket for the Six Nations competition. Here are all the details that you require. How do you fancy following your team throughout next year's RBS Six Nations? Well, now you can, thanks to our dream season ticket competition. We can offer one viewer two tickets to every match involving their chosen country including travel and two nights accommodation in a four-star hotel each match weekend. So if you're an England fan, that's three matches at Twickenham, including the big showdown with the French, plus trips to Cardiff and Dublin. On the other hand, if Wales are your team, there's the chance to enjoy weekends in Rome, Paris and Edinburgh, plus the visit of England and Ireland to the Millennium Stadium. All you have to do is call 09011-110816 or you can email us via the website bbc.co.uk forward slash grandstand and answer the following question. Who are the current RBS Six Nations champions? Is it A, England, B, Ireland or C, France? Calls cost 25 pence a minute and lines close on November the 28th. The winner will be announced on Grandstand on December the 4th. Here's that number again. It's 09011110816. And what kind of force are Wales going to be in that Six Nations Championship? It's looked promising at times during the course of this first half, but they do need the support of a strong referee. And one has to say that Paddy O'Brien, well, uh, Eddie Butler was quite restrained. You don't intend to be, do you? No, I think he's got it wrong. Look at this. Duet body goes in. Now, he is tackled. He's supposed to leave the ball go. Chavez comes in. He's on his feet, he's got hands on the ball. That is a penalty for Wales. Instead, it went to uh, South Africa and they kicked the goal. And again, if you watch this, this is a block run by uh, Gareth Thomas. He's going to run the block into Joubert. He's got plenty of time to drift past Gareth Thomas. What does he do? Doesn't drift, looks for the penalty. Paddy O'Brien is a New Zealander. It's Australia and New Zealand who brought this rugby league tactic into the game, and yet he penalises Wales for doing it. 
So it's showing no consistency whatsoever in the tackle area, and then the block run, which was Australia and New Zealand have been doing for years. You know, I think he has favour South Africa. Yeah. Now he's, I think, to, to compensate things, he sent Sh Short Berger off. But yeah. the damage has been already done. Berger is off, uh, South Africa at least for the start of the second half, down to 14. Uh, an important opportunity for Wales. Here. Wales has got to show some composure. They're getting good enough uh, turnover ball to really uh, hurt South Africa, but I think Jones has just got to show a bit more direction with Peel. 23-12, South Africa lead, and we're back with our commentators, Brian Moore and Eddie. He might shoot out. So just, you know, just... TJ is watching him. John Smith. Knows his side are down to 14, but they do have an 11 point lead. Just waiting for Paddy O'Brien. There he goes, second half underway. Ryan Jones waits and runs. The Matfield makes the tackle. Leave it. Wales have to be careful here. That, well, it's that's a mess for Wales. Oh, play the knock on. Green scrum. Very, very untidy on, there. And and John Smith up, looking round, saying, "What on earth is going on?" Because watch here. This hand is a bit blatant. Oh, there we go. Defence the referee couldn't see that. Yeah. Van Niekirk, oh, there was a man breaking pulse free outside Dupree. Wales will have no the scrum. So, scrappy start to the second half. Mistakes by both teams. Just for a second, decides not to make the pass, but there was a man out there. Pulse was free just for a second. Drive comes on well, turn towards that touchline. He can't Dwayne be bound Field. there, you know. Nierkirk and Smith there are not bound. They've got to stay bound onto their own scrum. They're simply detached. Dwayne Peel did well there to get the ball away under such pressure. Wheeling scrum, people perhaps coming off a little bit early. South African throw, though. The green cap of Matfield might rise. Up oh, he goes. This time it hasn't worked. Colin Chavez takes on Jakob van der Estesen. Stephen Jones. Gavin Henson on the loot. Gareth Thomas. Luscom. Dwight Barry misses him. Tries to offload. Percy Montgomery is back. Sonny Parker follows up with a tackle. Dupria with the clearance. Henson goes back for Wales. Good clearance by the Springbok scrum half. Well, not good, that's magnificent. He's made nearly 50 yards over his shoulder there. Good work by Montgomery. Getting down, up and down again. Looks for second. You've got to hang on to this, unless he's completely on. Got to hang on. He gets up and then he goes down again to protect the ball. And that, 50 yards. Welsh line out at the start of this second half. David Jones goes up, takes well. Michael Owen drives in on the Scarlet. Come out, Green. Dragon out. on a Scarlet. But now they need the ball quickly. What's your name? Stephen Jones. At Gareth Thomas had overrun him. Ashwin, Willems there, tackled by Jones and Very Jones. Good. Stephen and Stephen. Good pick up, Peel. Play on, open play. Adam Jones goes down, he can get up. Chance now for Wales, Gareth Thomas. Peel, Michael Owen is lateral a bit. Two second rows. Henson, Gavin Henson steps inside Van der Vesses and tries to brush Van Mikkel aside. Not that easy. Thomas feeds Peel. There might be numbers outside. Peel, good break for the scrum half. Chips, Montgomery still great. Peel! Great solo effort by Peel. Wales pour in. Colin Travis is there. Duncan Jones on his shoulder. Van Niekerk with an all-consuming tackle there. It's turn on the ball, but South Africa offside. And if that wasn't 
a professional well, foul. Yes, that's worthy exactly of a, what I was going to say. Worthy of a yellow card. That's exactly what I was going to say. They were in there. Lovely bit by Peel. And he did well here. There isn't much support. Here is where they need it quick. It comes reasonably quickly. Jarvis driving. There's a rook form there, definitely. Oh, well, he's, just, well, he's made no attempt to it. He's miles offside. If that is the he's a good, card he's a good two yards. And I think that he's lucky. He's lucky. Still got the field. Well, if the game is going to get looser, this could suit Wales. Here's the break by Dwayne Peel. He's been looking for this little dart all afternoon. Great skill to take his own kick. Ashwin Willems though with the cat with the tackle, the offload. Now Van Niekerk is a yard offside. Well, and two just yards tackles offside at out. least. Made no attempt to get behind the back foot. And he ruined what would have been a well was it poor probable we, that would have been a penalty try, but he knew what he was doing. Ryan Jones, now then Wales. A there little go, spring in the step. Stephen Jones gives it the full crack. Good clearance. Now then, Wales looking full of it at the start of this second half. If South Africa have decided to let the discipline go in keeping the ball tight, it could suit Wales. Well, given that I don't know how they work this out, there's an average between six and seven points when you're down to 14 men. That's three of them. That's still very Keep solid, though, isn't it? it Bucky's Boerter takes over. At the line out from Matfield. Keep it good drive, so South Keep Africa having back. yielded the three points ah, and let the lane the Don't game go the loose. Go. May have said, let's tighten it up. Dupe. One for Willems to the chase. Luscombe is under it. Good mark Keep by up. Hal Luscombe. Well taken. Now then. Luscombe. It's Matfield who made the tackle. The follow-up tackle was by Van Nieke, but it was Matfield again who was so involved from the second row position. Stephen Jones. Come out of there, come Good out of there. ground made by Jones. Yeah. And Jekyll van der Vest is in deciding he's not going to play anything quickly and he's right to run the clock down. He knows they've got the throw. They'll be virtually untouchable on their own line out. Wind the clock down till Saltberger comes back on. Matfield, a yard outside the line out. If he steps in, he must be the target. Back to his winning ways. Victor Matfield. Still left, Danny Jones comes away with it. Takes on Montgomery. Danny Jones has left Percy Montgomery on the ground. Must be a try for Wales. Gavin Henson. Henson for the try line. Oh. Wales right back in this game. The Springboks down to 14 and hurting. Well, Springbok line out working as efficiently as ever. But he gets another turnover in, in direct contrast to all the other ones. Wells have made them pay very fully for this. Good strength here. Just rips the ball away. David Jones, and then watch this for a bump here. Percy Montgomery, down you go. And they need a quick ball from this, and they got it. And I Stephen think Jones, there was still another two points. Wales now trailing by a single point. Scott Berger will be back on for South Africa, but how to make the over the one-man over hurt? That is a good line, you look from there. He's been impressive to me all the way through, Parker, but he comes dead straight, which means anyone who's coming across, all he has to do is stay. Comes back inside and they're directly wrong-footed. Henson, over he goes. Good work by Henson, good, good angle. And the Welsh crowd now, they're getting behind them. Let's see. Jakob van der Westhuizen starts. Dwayne Peel with the regather, but he was over the touchline. 
So that is another little error in Wales's favour. Oh, they're looking there. I'll allow the option of uh, a quick line out, Kevin! but it's not going to give them. It comes as a surprise to some people. Caught the ball, Gwen Peel, but because his foot is out, that counts as out. The silver boots. Okay, we'll keep working hard. Dancing boots. There you go, he's been over. And Will's so, really got a man up. You need to make him pay again. Scott Berger is warming up in the tunnel on the far side of the field. Wales will, there he is, Scott Berger. Wales can just have one more playing with the flanker absent. Good scrimmage. Stephen Jones, oh, trouble here. Carl Luscombe has got to get back. Oh, it's worked in Wales' favour because it's slewed off the foot of the vet Barry. Well, what I don't understand from there, Eddie, is if you are going uh, to kick the ball anyway, why not give yourself another two or three metres to make green. sure that can't happen? You know that South Africa really fly up in defence and perhaps we're lucky for Wales to get away with one. Scott Berger is back, roundly booed back onto the field, but it means South Africa now have their full contingent. He returns you know, mean. to see okay, the scoreboard. If you're in any doubt, don't go for it. I'm not going to start you competing, but if you're in doubt, remember it's you than the problem. Thank you. Well, it's also up to the referee to take doubt wait, wait, out wait, of the wait, minds wait. of the players. Wait. Steve Jones. They've lost it. Scott Berger straight back into the thick of the action. Advantage over! Matfield, one of the stars on the Springbok side. Jacko van der Westhazen. Shane Williams. Knock it on. This won't count. They'll come back for the scrimmage in the Welsh 22. Important for Wales now not to concede a score straight back. They can just hang on here, hold clear on, the ball, on. give themselves a little breathing space. Gage! Just look at the South African three-quarter line, it's very Perfect. shallow again. Brayton Corsa. Devet Barry. Leave it! Johan Smith. Hands off, Red! Van der Westes and Montgomery cuts back inside, tackled by his Go opposite on, number, on, Gareth on. Thomas. Stay, Red, stay. Stay. Dupree, Scott Berger took it standing still, Leave tackled on, by Fred Cavane. Stay there. Van der Westes and cuts inside, Michael Go Owen, on. who makes the tackle. Dwayne Peel makes the tackle, that went forward. Went forward. Wales survived the pressure. Well, they tackled well there, they defended bravely, but now the forwards have to do another job for Jones front row. Keep working hard to make good. Spill forward out the tackle, bad contact skills. Good tackle by Dwayne Peel. Scotty, I stuck my clock up, hell on, hell on gone. My clock stopped. I've got a full time for you, so. You're going to let it rust. Okay. Try being replayed here. Ball. Superb work by David Jones. Watch the angle here. Dead straight, that means covering players can't stop him when he steps back inside. Hold only. No. It's still a well scrum that will come under big pressure here. Ryan Jones needs to add his weight because there it comes, the drive is on. This is a problem here. You're the man in the slot, the number eight there is not really pushing and trying to help as well we've effectively He's got still five Ryan off. Jones is not really adding much to that scrimmage at all it's it's slewing back you can't do that trouble for Wales he's got to get in there that'll do that'll do that'll do up here the Five. only reason you were going the slot there with a number eight in the the Ben Hur chariot position is if you're going to whack the ball down channel one and get it away quickly as soon as that doesn't happen you're in trouble he can't contribute, he's trying to pick up off one hand there. Originally held up. Hand in the scrum as well. But bearing in mind as well, the hooker at some point has got to lift his foot to strike, so you've effectively got half a man in terms of weight. Eight against yeah. six then. 
South Africa trying to reset the drive. Wales have spun it round. Welsh put in. That's good One point. all in this little scrummage contest. Good work by the Jones front row there. When in doubt, Brian, say Jones. Yes. <laughs> now then, what will he do this time? Just keep an eye on Ryan Jones, he's still out of the scrum. You, the other thing is that you've no. got at least got to hit there. You've got to hit there and then move. It's such a struggle for the front five, they've got away with it. Oh, too much pressure from Cody Dupree. If I was in the world's front five, I would be absolutely livid at the moment. Because it's a hard job. The thing is, when you, you've got to at least hit down as a number eight, because the second row has to be bound together as well. Then you can move, maybe. But I'm not in favour of getting into that position when you're on your line. Well, it's, it looks, if you do it twice, it's obviously a rehearsed move, but I, just, I, think, I think with you, if you're, if you're a foot five you're time, screaming you for weight. Game, Look, please, it didn't work either time. They got away with it here, but uh, the scrub has been ruined. Replacement to be made. There's Ryan Jones. He's done well. He's had a few good runs. Ashwin Willemsa is going off. Brent Russell is coming on. Could take Brent Cobain. Brother of Matt Cobain of the Wallabies. Now then, Hal Luscombe. Russell on for the first time, I think. Luscombe knocked that on. Percy Montgomery. Good kick downfield by Montgomery. Paddy O'Brien screams advantage over. Ah, it's a good advantage, superb play. Percy Montgomery, no, virtually no room to work with, and yet he's managed to control a ball that's gone 30, 40 metres and then skewed into touch. Still a pressure throw for Steve Jones. Three-man liner, David Jones at the tail, Brent Cobain in the middle, Adam Jones, Michael Owen comes in, he'll have to be the... Yeah, he'll have to take it if he steps in, Steve Jones. Well, it's worked for Wales, they've done well enough there. Very clever. There's the boot of Gavin Henson, he can kick it a mile. Brent Russell, new on, new fresh legs. Come out, Brent, come out! Come out! Henson again, the come try scorer out. for Wales. Looked inside, saw Gareth Thomas a long way away. Henson chases his own kick against Montgomery. Has to wait for him to land. Gareth Thomas had his weight, that's gone forward. Wales could have a turnover. Play on. Sonny Parker, good pressure on Van Niekerk. Devet Barry. Inside his own 22. They'll go all the way back because the ball went out and stayed out. It'll be a Welsh attacking line out. Well, it just showed, doesn't it, when Wales put uh, South under pressure, that they are fallible, albeit that they're Tri-Nations champions. They are proving fallible when they're under pressure. It's the arrival of Gareth Thomas. He's such an impressive figure on the field. Real presence, the Welsh captain. He may have left to play, play for on. Toulouse in France, but he's... he's play on! He's still play on such a character in the Welsh on. game. Hal Luscombe is having attention. Gareth Thomas. Michael Owen has lost it, not straight. I'll tell you that's twice now. I don't know what I don't know what the South Africans are thinking. But I can only presume they're not really sure of the law because the man who's standing out there, if he joins the line out, he has got to be the receiver. So they don't need to mark anyone else, no matter where anyone else runs okay. to the line out, they've got to stand opposite that man. And that's twice if missed him. Pressure on the South African scrum. Dupria gets the kick away, and Gareth Thomas watches it go over the line. At least Wales will have the throw in. South Africa protecting a one point lead, but they have not had it all yeah, their own way. Good. In fact, they haven't scored a point in this Stay second there. half. Stay green there. The safety ball to Michael Owen. Hands off green! Once again, they have Stay. to sort out the little bobble, which they do. Stephen Jones put South Africa up towards halfway. 
Well, for me, the pick of the Welsh back, Stephen Jones, that there and Gavin Henson are both having Three fine games. Me. Would that they'd had more ball from the Welsh point of view. Scrappy ball for South Africa. Found the best season. Good offload. Brilliant offload to the vet Barry. Barry's on his own for the moment. Does he need any support? Gareth Thomas goes in for the tackle. Ball went loose. Thomas did superbly well there. Gareth Thomas still in possession. It'll be a five-meter scrimmage. I don't think he should have blown up so quickly there. The difficulty there, Gareth Thomas was waiting and waiting and then he eventually had to come back in. Now he's ripped the ball out there. I'm not sure if uh, South can play that old that. Number one red. Still danger for Wales, five metre scrimmage. Superb defensive work by Gareth Thomas. Gethin Jenkins comes on for Duncan Jones. Wales down to five Joneses. Gethin Jenkins comes on. And South Africa ring a change Gentlemen. in the front row One, two. No, 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 first, first. The other two are just working each other. CJ out. van der Linde oh, comes on into the front row. Eddie Andrews goes Grant off. And hold. Okay. Dupria feeds the scrum. Now with two new props in there. Joubert infield to Brent Russell. Russell over the line and scored. Got the ball down. The first points for South Africa of this second half. Good set-piece move. Brent Russell over, and the lead grows. Play Ben Dexterman, flick back inside, and, well, there are enough players there. He's still got five metres to go. Can't see from here the grounding referee in a much better position. And I have no doubt about giving it. Well, it's quite a simple inside ball. Really should have been covered, I feel. And Montgomery adds a conversion. Well, you, you think there'd be a system there straight from set piece. Good strong running by Brent Russell, but there were defenders in front of him. Here's the pass, Hubert, little flick back. It's not a full tilt just there either, has to set up from his side. Well, eight and six on the line is over, and it's... Yes, it's there. Jake White is perfectly happy with that. Down towards halfway, Wales needs to strike back quickly. Changes for Wales. Luke Charteris, six foot nine, comes on for his first cap. David Jones. Has Just gone off. Forward. So Michael Owen will presumably go back. Line in and finished on here, guys. Red into ball. the back row. Luke Charteris of the Dragons. There he is. Hold on, hold on. Packing alongside Brent Cobain. Michael Owen does indeed go to number eight. Gage. Ryan Jones onto the flank. Bad scrum for Wales. Turned by South Africa, and away comes Van Niekerk. The rush defence. Hubert has Montgomery inside him, Russell inside, Henson bounces off. Leave it red! Van der Westhuizen, the crunch in midfield as Van Niekerk drives it up. Van der Westhuizen, the cut-out pass. Slow ball for South Africa. South Africa penalised, hanging on. Relief for Wales. But they won't want too many scrimmages like that last one. Held him. They can't afford to have too many scrimmages. John Smith there. there. Oh, Smith penalised for hanging on. Took the ball in and he was isolated. I don't blame him actually. I think the sporting players were too slow. Beep, beep. 
Yes, but uh, at that point, mind you, he can't do anything please. on top of him. But, uh, Just hold, hold him. Well, on that occasion, the referee yeah, hold him. insisting that he lets go of the ball, which he didn't. Looks as if we're going to have more replacements. Go and get him, Tom go and get him. Shanklin is coming on. Hal Luscombe is going off. There's Tom Shanklin. Tell the hooker to wait still, mate. Hal Luscombe. Is going off. South Africa have stolen ball. Please, please, please. Again, wait for this. <laughs> Steve Jones simply took it too soon. <laughs> he said, if he, if he jumps, I'm going to throw it to him. Okay. It's a fair point if you're a hooker. Bad line out for Wales. The wet Barry out to Marius Hubert. Good tackle, Sonny Parker. Tom Shanklin involved, goes down, secures ball for Dwayne Peel. Stephen Jones. Jones with the break. Shane Williams on his shoulder. Can't get the ball away. Gethin Jenkins and Ryan Jones. Steve Jones, good tackle by the hooker. Now then. Shane Williams is back. Almost a dangerous breakout. Shane Williams in broken play. There's the big step off the left. And there's the crunching South African tackle to strip him of the ball. Russell, trouble here. Van der Vestesen, Henson makes the tackle, offload to Percy Montgomery. Montgomery's over. That could be the try that seals the game and sets Jake White's Springboks off to a winning start on their tour. Well, it was a superb floated pass there. Long cut-out pass. Not only missed out a couple of the old South African men, but also outflanked all the world's defensive from that point. Well, he's run away, but it's a tackle from behind here, watch, really, that gets him. Just as about to offload. Back his butter. Back his butter. And there's a slight imbalance in physique there. Dolph Berger moves the ball wide. And later on with some very, very perceptive handling. Good try, mate. Right? And we've seen actually any throughout the whole of the afternoon. When the South Africa do get in scoring positions, they tend not to panic. You know, they can wait and they can run the lines. Montgomery misses there, but that's put them out of sight, really. Yeah, 20 points for Percy Montgomery. A try to add to his kicks. That's the ball there. Lovely floated pass from Brent Russell. There's a blood man off. And here they know where the they know where 15. the line is. Thank you. They know the angles to run. What numbers off? And Thank a you. turnover. From initially some good work as Coswell's dear. Wales have to restart again. Furi Dupria, he's had a busy day kicking the ball. But He's kicked very well, He's controlled the game well. When South Africa aren't looking to run the ball, Dupria has kept Thanks. them going forward. Inside pass, Henson to Shane Williams. Trouble for David Jones. Let it go! Colin Chavis, Gareth Thomas. Got them all! Let it go! Stay green! Williams, held by Matfield. Good pass, though, to Dwayne Peel, to Adam Jones. Let it go! Might he have been turned. Yeah, held, held on. Honestly. Honestly. Both Brent Russell and Jean de Villiers are on for South Africa as replacements. There's Percy Montgomery wearing 15. Slight readjustment of the three quarters in front of him. Kerry Brent Carson Russell. Next break, please. Q. Wearing 22. Clayton. Clayton. Can I have some water next break, please? There's a potted goal. 47. And he's uh, 
He's well capable next, of this. Next time, at the kickoff, if he gets it, if he gets it. This team set up for a 16-point cushion. 14, 13 minutes left, probably. Percy Montgomery. No waterfall. He's missed again. He's missed with his last two. Well, he won't be happy with that, but it keeps the ball down where the South Africans will want it, which is deep in Welsh territory. Play on! Brian Jones takes it quickly. Bucky's Berta with the tackle. And no South problem, Africa no hit problem. the run really hard roll. to disrupt the flow of possession for Wales. Got to roll, you can't just hold your feet in there. Leave him. Well, he disrupted it legally on. once or twice. For the third time now, Gavin Henson. Well, that's a big tackle from Devet Barry. Henson did well to deliver. Gethin Jenkins, the prop, to Tom Shanklin, the replacement on the wing. There go, leave it! Hubert drags Shanklin out the way. Bit of forward ball. bravado, forward ball, forward ball. says Ooh, referee if it was, it was only just. In fact, <laughs> I think there were a couple of forward, little passes that were more forward Great 11 boys, in the please. last Welsh back movement. Uh, here we go. Just seen them on and come to go off, thank Oh, you. yes. It's the angle of their hands, you can tell from there, isn't it? Just small things like that are necessary. Shane Williams is off and Kerry Sweeney comes on. So Kerry Sweeney, normally an outside half, goes into the centre. Gavin Henson goes to fullback and Gareth Thomas takes up one of the many positions he's occupied for Wales. He goes onto the wing. There's big Oz Durant. And here's the Welsh captain now playing on the wing. Was there an injury there? I didn't see, or was it a tactical thing? Okay, hold, crouch and hold only. I can't oh, see it's wise okay. to have three positional changes. That's all, especially when Henson's been one of Wales' best players. He's now at fullback, yeah. So he's out of the running in terms of direct influencing attacking play. Your captain is moving to a different position, and you've got to fly off. He's not playing where he normally plays. Okay. If you can, well, I've only, I only used to play the front row, so I, I wouldn't know, but, you know. I don't know, maybe, oh, penalty against Wales at the scrummage. Right in front of me. Shane Williams may have had a bump. OK, fair enough. Pause. Yeah, sorry. Percy Montgomery, he's missed with his last two, he's lining up another one. 20 points to his name. Yeah. Shows you going to give a regular to get quick ball there, doesn't it? About 42 metres, more or less. Yeah. That's better from Percy. 23 points now for Percy Montgomery and the South African ship has really and truly steadied. While they were down to 14, Wales came right back into the, to this game. South Africa hadn't scored in this second half and then with the re-emergence of Scott Berger from the Sinbin, the Springboks have resumed control. Possession, Colin Chavis goes down, South Africa though, have the ball yet again. Michael Owen. Stay green, stay! Stay, get out of the three, get out! Ryan Jones, Bucky's butter. he's had a good second roll half. Roll clear four, roll out, roll out! The partner to Victor yeah, yeah. Matfield, Thank who's you. had a good all-round game, whatever the half. This time, change of tactic, Kerry Sweeney! Little ploy, two outside halves working well together. There's Luke Chatteris, the tall one. Brent Russell has to be careful not to be offside. Michael Owen. Leave it green, leave it. Ryan Jones steps inside. Brayton Paulson. Not help, It's better by Wells, good build-up. Michael Owen again. Gareth Thomas, it's all gone. It's an advantage to Wales, South Africa. Not offside, but knocking the ball on. Well, I can't understand why Wales haven't 
chipped a little bit more. You know, a couple of times they've, they've, they've profited from that, and it's at least one of the ways where you can stop this rush defence, because at least they're in two minds, but they're all up there, lots of room behind, and gathers fairly comfortably. One of the other things that's happening as well, Eddie, in this game is that the Welsh players, a lot of forwards, when they've won the ball, they're not in good set positions over the ball. And what the South Africans are doing is they realise this and they're hitting the rooks as hard as they can. And that's making sure that when Peel trying to get the ball, he's having forwards rocketing him back over the top of him. And it's slowing things down, so the Welsh forwards must get a much more solid base when they've, when they've won the ball. Yeah, when the likes of Bucky's Butter has been hitting rooks and you think it's... It's not, it's, you can't do much when you just hit a ruck, but when the whole thing shudders and a body collapses and makes the exit of the a ball that much more difficult, it has an effect on the game. See again, that Welsh scrimmage is not comfortable there, they've got away with it, a free kick, Dwayne Peel takes it quickly, that'll be 10 metres on. 10 metres, back you go, where you go. There you go. This will still be a free kick, won't it, I think? Yeah. Still uh, a free kick. Move called. It's that old faithful, number one. Stay. Now, let's see if... Sometimes these go horribly wrong. Gethin Jenkins. Leave it! Michael Owen. Held, but gets the ball away to Steve Jones, who Advantage ducks his head. This time it's a turnover to South Africa. And now with tired legs, it may hurt. Oh, Victor Matfield. Well, I reckon that's his first mistake of the game. I think that is his first mistake. He's yeah. Oh, no, he lost one line out. Red seven. Yeah, maybe. maybe. But otherwise, he's been a tower, hasn't he? Hasn't he had a good game? Very, very good game. He's, I mean, he's, he's guaranteed a supply of quality ball throughout the whole game. You know, a lot of the South African connections being based around that. Martin Williams comes on for Colin Chavez. And Nevin Davis is going to come up into the front row. Looks as if Steve Jones is going off. Gage! Now then, Greenfield has to be careful because there's nobody out there. Wales are still prepared to hit that blind side. It's working for them. Good progress. Field can now hit the open. Fresh legs. Hooker. Nevin Davis. Not held. Oh, he was held. Ah. Can't go forward on your knees. Corey Dupier. Was he held after the kick? Martin Williams. Infield. Kerry Sweeney. Henson does well, read the situation really well. There's the strength of Gavin Henson. Advantage. Deliberate knock on, was it? Still no. advantage being played Wales. Kerry Sweeney, infield to Dwayne Peel. Martin Williams now then. That's on his <laughs> Sweeney on his own right there. Yeah, they knew the penalty was coming the way, I think. <laughs> I didn't see his arm go out, but. Uh... It doesn't matter, he's right. I would shove this oh, in the no, corner, no. wouldn't you, at this time? <laughs> yeah, I've seen him on. On yep. the stop one, clock John, on the stadium, please, which seems to be running a bit faster than the clock you can see there. Yeah, no attempt at all to, uh, no, to actually no, catch no. that, was there? Simply slapped it oh, down. Okay. Here we go. Good Here's... run, though, isn't it? Yeah. That's yeah, why I'm saying you don't want him his, on the, his hands on the balls as often as you can. Yeah. Great set. Let's go. Is it here? No. It's on. And Yanni coming on into the front row. Oh, no, it's not. Sorry, I beg your pardon. It's Tim Dulani. He's coming on at the back row instead of Scott Berger. And Shimangi is, in, is on in the front row instead of Oz Durant. Wales, though, will want to keep it more towards the touchlines and the line-outs. John, push him back. The kick bothers him. Nevin Davis. Prepares to throw to what? Is this his first line-out? 
Time running out for Wales. To score again, Brent Cobain. Keep it up, keep it up. The red shirts cluster around him, but for the moment they're going backwards. There isn't too much room tight against that touchline. Still, on they go. They've got the penalty, South Africa pulling the line out down. This time Wales go open, Sweeney to Jones, Gareth Thomas, the Wales record try scorer with 34. Nevin Davis, well tackled. We've seen some massive tackles from green shirts. Kerry Sweeney running onto the flat pass from Stephen Jones. Michael Owen, good hands. Kerry, it's going to be the try for Henson. Sunny Park again in the pass. Wales do score a second try. Way over 60 points have been scored now in this Open International. South Africa have won it. But Wales have continued to fight to the bitter end. Gavin Henson, his second try Five of the afternoon. Go, well, he's probably been Wales' best player today. Thank Unfortunately you. for him, he's on a losing team. Everything's done for him there, but he's in the right position. Here's the finish by Gavin Henson. His second try, and I just think I overheard Paddy O'Brien say five minutes. But if the clock is being stopped, there can't be that much surely. Still, there is more time. I can't see there being five minutes of injury time, leave it to... Well, he's capped off a fine performance today. Not only has he scored two tries, but he's been powerful in his run. He's worked in defence as well. And it will leave Wales finishing on a on a warm feeling even though they've been beaten Luke Charteris stay green stay Stephen Jones oh, off play on. Charge there, Brent play Russell on. nobody's offside Percy Montgomery if that goes straight out did Percy know it was the end of the game yeah, no up, there's time. Wales are still nine points behind, but uh, oh, there's plenty of appetite for one last go. Just checking the line out call. Brent Cobain winning ball at the front. Nevin Davis helps him out. Come out, come out, Green, come out. Now play advantage. Advantage, Wales. Leave takes nine. it. Taken quickly by Dwayne Field. A bit too quickly, perhaps. Down. Come on. Three. Just one on the, four, on the five. Now, what do Wales do? Well, they want to get down into that corner for one last play. It's all about the clock. Here goes Stephen Jones. That's a very, very good kick. OK, Brian, here's your big moment, one of your big moments. Who is your Lloyd's TSB man of the match? Lloyd's TSB man of the match Victor Matfield for me. He's had a peerless performance in the second row. He's supplied ball after ball, and he's worked hard in the South African scrum, which has been dominant. Rare to get second rows awarded these things, but... Uh, I think he's had a big influence in the game. Advantage! Wales with another, another penalty advantage being played their way. Shanklin goes through. Marius Joubert back for South Africa. Slow but Wales had no advantage. South Africa slowing it down. So, still time for Wales to score another try. They scored from their last quickly taken penalty. Stephen Jones going for the corner again. Just checks. Is there time for all this? Well, the guitar for this one, they'll have to play on, so, uh, mind you, the only fact he would mitigate against this decision, which in circumstances ordinarily he would wholeheartedly support, is the fact that the Wales lineup has not been infallible. There's Victor Matfield, Brian's man of the match. 
towering presence at the line out. John Smith having a word with Paddy O'Brien. The game is in the bag for South Africa, but Wales are enjoying a good little period, yeah. an encouraging little period. This is the first game of their long international season. Oh, oh, oh. Many encouraging signs from it. Of course, South Africa will be off to a winning start to the tour. They want to make a Grand Slam tour. A change at Scrum Half as well. Michael Classens on four. Fury Dupria. Line out ball one. For Wales. On comes the big drive. South Africa have got men in the wrong side. Wales reset the drive. And reset it again. Inching their way towards the line. That is a penalty. By any standard. Surely that was dragged down. By any standard. Down, fellas. Turnover. No penalty, just a turnover to wow, South Africa. Wow, the South Africans have many in the wrong side. Tulsa ran in, in front of the back foot. Wales, please, out here, out here. So, the chance here, may have been lost. Come on. Unless Guys, please, that on new look South African up. front row. With Yanni Shimangi. CJ Van der Linde. In there. Stay on. Are they more vulnerable they seem to be a bit they've gone up good drive by Wales knock on says the referee oh no no he's gone for, he's gone for video gone for video analysis Dwayne Peel may have snuck in there for the try he couldn't have seen it at all where Paddy O'Brien is caught not expecting that as indeed neither were we I would beg to suggest but after the was from five calls not a sensation, but certainly a huge surprise. Watch this. And the loose head has split out. Look, he's miles outside. Oh, he's done it. That's yes, a try. Yes, he has. That's a try. Yeah, that's a try. Yeah, that's a try. All sorts of bother there. That's a try. Yep, that's a try. Thank you. <laughs> try awarded. Wales get their third. What a good game, Dwayne P. 38, 36 should have brought us over. Just two points, but Wales will not have a chance to reduce it any further or to overtake it because Paddy O'Brien brings the match to an end. A really encouraging performance by Wales. They stuck at it all the way through, but they've lost to South Africa. But how close it was at the end. Wales 36, South Africa 38. We're making sure the shoelaces are tied and the tracksuit pants are pulled up, or there'll be a few tumbles. But it's leads into the semi-finals again. Uh, and